Are you thinking about moving to Northeast Tennessee? Maybe Johnson City, Kingsport, or Bristol? If you're dreaming about life in a small town, perhaps you should consider Greenville, Tennessee, just 30 minutes from Johnson City. Today, we're going to give you a tour of the second oldest town in Tennessee, Greenville. I'm Stephanie, and along with Shad, we're the Freck Group at Premier Homes and Properties. We specialize in helping people that are moving across the state or across the country to Northeast Tennessee. So if you have questions, give us a call, text, or email. And remember, it is never too soon to start planning your move. Greenville is located within one of the largest counties in Tennessee by landmass, Greene County. This county holds about 70,000 people total and remains mostly rural in nature, while Greenville remains the county seat and is by far the largest city in the county with about 16,000 people. With two mountain ranges forming the northern and southern borders of the county and lush valleys in between, you can only imagine the breathtaking beauty of this area. Stephanie and I simply love driving through this area and you will too. We find that most people drive into Greenville on Andrew Johnson Highway, also called the Bypass. When they arrive, they see all the big box stores, restaurants, fast food places, grocery stores, gas stations, pretty much anything you need day to day. That's a good thing, right? But that's not what Greenville is all about. When you step into Greenville's downtown historic district, you take a step back in time. With five pre-Civil War churches still standing along with numerous historic sites and homes. Greenville was the home of our 17th president, Andrew Johnson. Today you can visit the Andrew Johnson Homestead, National Historic Site Visitor Center, and National Cemetery where Andrew Johnson was laid to rest. You also find the Dixon Williams Mansion nearby, a federal style mansion built in 1823. General John Morgan spent the last night of his life in this home. And during a skirmish the following day when General Morgan lost his life, a cannonball was fired into the front of the Cumberland Presbyterian Church, where it still resides today. A cornerstone of historic Greenville is the beautiful General Morgan Inn and Conference Center, where we are sitting today. Visitors can stay in one of 51 guest rooms or enjoy fine dining at Brumley's Restaurant. The D. Woody Tavern once stood in the same spot in the late 1790s, also providing overnight accommodations and known as the Lane House during the Civil War. The General Morgan Inn holds a very special place in my heart because 16 years ago, I relocated to Greenville and lived at the General Morgan Inn while looking for my Tennessee home. A new addition throughout the downtown are the murals created by local artists telling the story of the history of Greenville's community. Check out 12 murals on the mural trail during your visit. Currently, downtown Greenville is undergoing revitalization with a new streetscape, which includes an area for street festivals and fairs. Just phase one of a three-phase plan. Like many cities across the country, Greenville is bringing life back into downtown. So what do the locals do for entertainment? There's dozens of festivals and events throughout the year. The Iris Festival, Midnight on Main, Christmas Parade, and the Farmer's Market. For vintage car lovers, there is even Sundown on Depot and the Friday Night Cruise In. The list of events goes on and on. Just around the corner from the downtown historic district is the Nicewanger Performing Arts Center a gorgeous theater that seats over 1,100 people, featuring a variety of performances from ballets, comedy, contemporary Christian, and classic rock to theatrical productions and plays. The NPAC also partners with local schools to offer students learning through arts experiences. Local sports fans love to visit Pioneer Park, a stadium that seats 4,000 people on the campus of Tusculum University. It is the home field for Tusculum's baseball team and the Greenville Flyboys. 
The Greenville Flyboys name pays homage to the World War II airfield that once existed on the site of the ballpark. Residents of all ages enjoy cheering on teams like the Johnson City Doughboys and the Burlington Sock Puppets. Are you up for fresh air and staying fit? People throughout the region enjoy walking the Tusculum Greenway, a four mile paved walking path that is moderately challenging and with great views. One stop along the way is the Doak House Museum. Built in 1818, this was the home of Samuel Doak, the founder of Tusculum University, which, interesting fact, was founded in 1794 as Tennessee's first university and remains the 28th oldest college still operating in the United States today. This 140-acre campus has nine buildings and the Tusculum Arch, which is listed on the National Register of Historic Places. Walter State Community College Nicewanger campus is also located in Greenville, serving as an extension of the main campus in Morristown, Tennessee. People throughout the region can complete general core classes, several certificate programs, and obtain health professional degrees. Walter State also offers a GED program and is home to the Regional Law Enforcement Academy. Like most people, you are probably concerned about medical care when relocating to a new area. Greenville has the Laughlin Memorial Hospital, several urgent care locations, and medical groups for doctor's visits. Also, Greenville is just 30 minutes from Johnson City Medical Center, which boasts a level one trauma center, plus the Nicewanger Children's Hospital and the James H. Quillen VA Medical Center, one of the highest rated VA hospitals in the country. So what is the real estate market like? Well, whether you're looking to live within the city or reside out within the beautiful countryside, Greenville's got you covered. Let's look at a few examples of some recent sales activity. How about a quality home built within the past 15 years and sitting on a half acre lot? These homes down this street average two to 2,500 square feet. And as of the recording of this video, have average sales prices between 350 to 450,000. Need more finished space? The homes you see here average around three to 4,000 square feet, with some offering full brick exteriors and partially finished basements. Recent sales have been from 500 to 600,000. What if you're looking for some more elbow room and your budget's between 600,000 and a million? How about a high quality home that sits on over an acre and with million dollar views? Welcome to the River Plantation Subdivision. This rural subdivision is a few miles south of town, resides along the Nolichucky River, and offers sweeping vistas of the Blue Ridge Mountains. It's simply stunning. And of course, there are always rural properties sitting on two to 20 acres or more out in the countryside. Basically, if you want to live out in the county or reside in an urban or suburban area of the city to be closer to employment or shopping, there should be housing available to fit your needs. We hope you enjoyed learning about Tennessee's second oldest town. If you have questions about Greenville or any other areas in Northeast Tennessee, feel free to reach out to us. If you enjoyed this video, hit subscribe and follow Living in Johnson City, Tennessee. And we hope to see you here real soon.